Okay, what the heck, I might as well do a complete thing and show you the actual seasoning part. Um, nothing too exciting about it. Now, as I said, uh, just you can do it on the stove top here. Uh, just wait, I'll need a fork. Alright, so you can do it on the stove top here. Turn both of these on to three. I've got, this is my own rendered fat. That's a combination of pork, chicken, and uh, veal uh, lamb fat. I'm not going to use that because that's too yummy to use for seasoning a pan. This is just your generic lard. Use lard, not the shortening. I'm sure shortening probably works, but uh, I don't know, use lard. Basically, just put a blob in there. Should have a bigger blob in my bigger pan. Just put a blob of lard in each one. I got them both on. Let me see. Three. On my stove, I know that three, a little bit more than three, uh, should get it nice and hot without actually burning the lard. It may be slightly different on your stove. Again, you can do this in the oven if you want. Um, no big deal. I think 350, I don't remember. I don't do it in the oven anymore uh, since I just started doing it on top. It's a lot easier. You can watch it. Um, <coughs> basically, the pan is just starting to heat up now. Uh, wipe it around like this. Make sure all the surfaces are wet it with the lard and just leave it there for 5-10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you want and that should do it. You'll have a nice seasoning starting and every time you cook with it, it'll season a little bit more. Uh, just be careful not to really mess it up like I did with this one. I had it pretty messed up in such a state that I had to scrub it hard to get it clean again. Ideally you don't want to frig up your pans like that. Um, you want to avoid having to scrub them hard like that and use any soap or water. As I did with this one I showed you, I was able to get it I was able to get it pretty clean just with my wooden spatula and uh, some light some light scrubbing with the scrubby. I did give one area here some heavy scrubbing just to show you what it looks like. I didn't actually need to give it heavy scrubbing, but I wanted to show you what it looks like when you uh, I'll steal that fat. I wanted to show you what it looks like when you scrub off the seasoning. Um, and again, it's, it's it's no big deal. People make this into something it's not. It's not rocket science. I guess it is technically. Uh, whoops. I guess it is technically uh, metallurgic science. <laughs> But, um, and maybe I shouldn't be using my stainless fork in here because it could contaminate the stainless fork with shavings from the cast iron which would cause the fork to then, uh, to rust. Uh, but I've never actually had that happen. I do this, this is what I usually do for seasoning my pan. And like I said before, uh, you know you have your burner too hot if it starts to smoke. So ideally what you want to do is you want to have this set to uh, just slightly under your smoking temperature. So you might have to do a bit of experimentation with your own stove and your own pans. But ideally you want it as hot as it will get without actually burning the lard. So you can start on a lower setting and slowly turn it up. Just remember that with cast iron, one of the things that makes it so great for cooking is it really holds the heat, which also means that when you turn that up a little bit, it's going to take a few minutes for that to uh, for that temperature change here to affect itself throughout the whole pan. So you adjust it up a little here. You're going to have to wait probably five minutes for that adjustment to totally take its full effect on the on the thermal mass of the pan. That's basically all there is to it. I'll just leave these uh, 
leave these on now for I'll set 10 minutes just for the heck of it probably want to leave it on longer than that uh, I'll show you what it looks like after 10 in any case and maybe we'll have another look after 15 or even 20 alright it's only five minutes but I'm going to show you one problem with my stove is it's not level I really should get around to leveling that so this stuff pools in the side here this is an advantage of doing it on the stove top is every couple of minutes you can just give it a swish if you were doing that in the oven it would be a lot more difficult to do that so just give it a swish every couple of minutes and away you go so we're about 15 minutes in I'm not sure if you can see that but I'm actually getting a bit of smoke here and I see I had it at about three and a half so I'm going to go down just below three that's not ideal it's not going to be the end of the world though give it another swish that's getting really hot on the edges for doing that. Ouch. Um, this guy also getting pretty hot. So. Well, that's basically all there is to it. There's no magic here. Um, just keep it on there. The longer the better. You know, you want to go an hour if you can. If your stove is not level like mine, then give it a swish every five minutes. Uh, spread the oil around and make sure like uh, like I just had here, I don't know if you could see it or not, it was actually smoking. That's definitely not what you want. So get into that magic spot where you're just below the smoking temperature of the lard. And that's where you want to stay for the time. And that's all there is to it. There's how to look after your cast iron pans. They'll serve you well forever, basically. Uh, and once you got a good season on it, you can check out my other video on the pancakes, uh, making the pancakes in this pan here. A whole batch of pancakes from one little blob of lard uh, because it's so well seasoned that it's uh, the ultimate in no-stick cookware.